All right, I just wanted to do kind of a quick tabletop review of the CZP-01. Um, for years and years, I've been a Glock fanboy. Um, I've owned as many models as I can I can think of. I've, I think I've owned just about every one of them. Um, obviously, great gun, super reliable. Um, but I wanted to compare it to the, the CZ here. Um, about the same size, um, pretty close in price range. Uh, I think I paid uh, about $650 for the Glock and about $680 for this uh, CZ P01. Um, there's a lot of things that are really cool about this gun. Um, CZ is a wonderful brand. Um, you know, like this uh, forged aluminum frame and uh, cold hammer forged barrel. Uh, it comes with a really nice box. Uh, you get your little cleaning rod and brush here. You know, obviously your little lock. If you're like me, you probably got a drawer full of those things. Um, we're gonna check, double check, just make sure the fire is clear here. Okay box out of our way but one of the things that I like the most about this gun is this decocker here um, you know obviously is great for carrying you know you've got your thumb over the hammer whenever you go to reholster it and even if something does catch that trigger you you're not getting the hammer back but you know you've got the option to fire in double action or single action and then you've got your decocker here um, so it, it compares pretty nicely to the Glock 19. Um, they're, you know, pretty similar in profile. This one's a little thinner on the slide and everything, obviously a bit heavier. Um, I do find this one to be more accurate. It feels great in the hand. Um, you know, you've got this swell here in the back and it just, just fits really well in the hand. Um, today we took it out and we shot about 200 rounds through it. Um, did not have a single failure. Took a second, you know, to get used to the sights and everything, but the sights are great. Um, you've got these night nice sights, you know, they give you a nice little glow. You know, and then here's the here's the Glock sights for comparison. A little narrower than the Glock sights, but I actually liked it. Um, and then we'll just do uh, a quick teardown. This gun is quite a bit more complicated than a Glock is whenever it comes to a full teardown. Um, you know, maybe we'll do a video on that in the future. Um, but what I like to do is I like to use the magazine to get our little pin out here. Um, you'll see these two hash marks here. What you're going to want to do is get those lined up. You're going to hold it there. Like I said, what I like to do is I like to take the end of the magazine because it is very tough to get this out. Um, and just put some good pressure on that pin. And then, you know, just lift it out. and put your hammer back. And if you'll pull the trigger back, it comes straight off. Because if you don't, it hangs up. If you'll pull that trigger, oh, hammer back. If you'll pull that trigger, it'll just slide right off. Um, you know, and then similar to pretty much every other semi-automatic pistol, just take that spring out. Um, one of the other cool things about this is that the slide rails are internal, they sit down inside this frame like that. Um, really thin slide, um, which I think is part of what helps with the, uh, the reciprocating mass, you know, that's gonna be part of your felt recoil there. Um, you know, and you compare it side by side to the, to the Glock slide and it's uh, you know, quite, quite a bit thinner in profile. The only thing, um, you know, let me know what you think the only thing that I'm a little concerned about is this polymer guide rod here. You know, it's a uh, kind of flimsy and I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the firearm performed flawlessly. Um, I did notice that Cajun Gunworks has a stainless steel uh, guide rod that you can buy for it. Um, a lot of reviews that I read were, you know, people saying that they got, you know, 10,000 rounds or so in um, and this thing was still, still holding up. Um, I don't know if it's part of the design intentionally to save weight. Um, or what the deal is, but yeah, like I said, I'm a little, a little uncomfortable with this uh, little polymer guide rod here. Um, I'm thinking about getting the uh, stainless steel guide rod and see what happens. Um, I do know that some people are thinking, um, you know, you don't want to mix steel and uh, aluminum together, but you know, you got your steel slide here and your aluminum frame. So, um, you know, some people were saying that they don't uh, want to add the extra weight to it, but you know, it's already a 28 ounce or so gun, you know, you're, going to be adding a fractional amount of weight. I doubt you'll 
be able to feel the difference. I'm also like that, you know, kind of like a 1911, um, you know, you can just take these grips off, order new grips. Um, these ones are actually pretty nice, pretty good grip on the gun. Um, like I said, a friend and I took it out today and put about 200 rounds through it. Um, performed perfectly, um, no issues at all. Um, really excited to own this one. Um, this is my first CZ. Like I said, I'd been a, a Glock guy for years and years, and I think I'm a changed man at this point. Um, this gun, it just the way that it the way that it recoils feels different. I don't want to say that it's less recoil, um, but it just it just felt great in the hand. And the way it fired, the way that it, you know, the recoil felt and everything, it was a, it was just great. Um, but real, real nice firearm. I definitely highly recommend this if, uh, you know, it's great to have in your uh, personal collection. Um, carries great. Honestly, the weight doesn't feel that much different than the Glock. Um, you can get it in both 10 round magazine and the 14 round magazine. Unfortunately, this was all that was available whenever I ordered this firearm. Um, but again, check out Gage, Cajun Gunworks. Um, they've got the 15 rounder on there for $45 or so. And, uh, that guide rod as well. And I think that was uh, $22 for the polished one. And then $37 for the, uh, the one that's black. Um, I am kind of curious as to why there's not an option for an aluminum one out there. If people are concerned about the stainless steel, um, Something that I may uh, may look into maybe having a, a local machine shop, see if I can get the machine one up and see if that uh, that works out. Um, but I'm definitely going to order the stainless steel one for the time being. I'm going to run a few hundred rounds through it and uh, see how that does. Um, you know, stay tuned. Hopefully soon we'll be doing a, uh, a video um, for a full teardown, kind of like we've done on the Glock. And in the video, we'll just kind of show you what the trigger's like. Um, there's a little more travel on the trigger. Um, I actually don't have an issue with it, um, but we, you know, we'll show you our Glock first here. Um, so, you know, a little bit of take up on the Glock. And then there's your brake. Pretty crisp. Show you the reset here. It's part of why Glocks are great. You got that short reset. And then comparing it to the CZ here. So first we'll do your full double action, you know, probably, if I had to guess, nine to 11 pounds there. Still not so bad. Um, and then we'll do our single action. Quite a bit of take up on the trigger there. Honestly, I don't I don't feel like it's much different than the Glock. Um, there's a little bit more there. Um, didn't bother me um, whenever it came to accuracy or anything like that at the range today. Um, and then your brake, very crisp, uh, pretty light trigger. Um, if I had to guess, probably, you know, pretty standard seven, maybe five even, um, pretty light trigger. Um, and then for our reset, honestly, like I said, I, I feel like it's pretty similar to the Glocks. Um, great trigger. Cajun Gunworks does offer a, uh, a trigger kit for this. Um, so you know, something, something to consider. I personally didn't have any issues with the trigger and I like the firearm just the way it is for the most part. Uh, you gotta love the decocker. But yeah, let me know what you think.